Hello, YouTube viewer. Welcome back to the official channel of Amit Ranjan, your go-to source for the latest and greatest news. Today, we've got some groundbreaking news that is sure to shake up the world of international investments. The United States is set to invest a whopping $553 million in Adani's Sri Lanka port project. Stay tuned as we break down the details of this major development. Before we dive into the specifics, let's understand the significance of this investment. The Adani Group has been making headlines with its ambitious infrastructure projects, and this latest collaboration with the United States is set to redefine the economic landscape of Sri Lanka. Sources close to the matter have revealed that the US government has committed to investing $553 million in Adani's Sri Lanka port project. This strategic move is aimed at fostering economic development in the region and enhancing bilateral ties between the US and Sri Lanka. Now, let's take a closer look at Adani's Sri Lanka port project. The venture aims to transform the port into a state-of-the-art facility, equipped with cutting-edge technology and infrastructure. This investment will not only boost the port's capacity but also create numerous job opportunities for the local workforce. The contours of Adani Ports and SEZ's record investment in a Colombo port broadened date 08-11-2023 with the U.S. International Development Finance Corporation DFC, announcing its funding in the project. DFC will lend $553 million, about 4,590 crore rupees, to Colombo West International Terminal CWIT, a consortium of India's largest port operator Adani Ports and says, APSEZ, Sri Lanka's leading enterprise John Keels Holdings, JKH, and the Sri Lanka Ports Authority. Adani owns 51% of the consortium. Its project-backed loan with tenure of 20 years. The project cost for the first phase is $650 million. It will be completed by December 2024. The total project cost including another phase is $1 billion. The investment in this port is the largest chunk of foreign direct investment that has ever come to Sri Lanka. DFC, the US government's development finance institution partners with the private sector to finance solutions to the most critical challenges facing the developing world. It invests across sectors, including energy, healthcare, infrastructure, agriculture and small business and financial services. This is the first time that the U.S. government, through one of its agencies, is funding an Adani project, which is a ringing endorsement of the Adani Group. It shows their confidence in the group's ability to invest and to create a world-class container facility in Colombo Port Adani Group said in a statement. The investment assumes significance especially after allegations of irregular practices by an American short seller Hindenburg wiped out large swathes of Adani's market value earlier this year. It also underlines America's efforts to counter China's growing investment and expansion in Sri Lanka. We welcome the association of the U.S. International Development Finance Corporation, the U.S. government's development finance institution, in funding the Adani project and we see this as a reaffirmation by the international community of our vision, our capabilities and our governance, said Karan Adani, whole time and CEO of APSEZ. As one of the world's largest port developers and operators, APSEZ brings to this project not only our proven world-class expertise but also our deep experience in infrastructure creation. When completed, Colombo West International Terminal Project will transform the socio-economic landscape, not just in Colombo but across the island. Through thousands of direct and indirect new employment opportunities and by massively boosting Sri Lanka's trade and commerce ecosystem. The port of Colombo is the largest and busiest transshipment port in the Indian Ocean. It has been operating at more than at more than 90% utilization since 2021, signaling its need for additional capacity. The new terminal will cater to growing economies in the Bay of Bengal, taking advantage of Sri Lanka's prime position on major shipping routes and its proximity to these expanding markets. DFC works to drive private sector investments that advance development and economic growth while strengthening strategic positions of our partners. That's what we're delivering with this infrastructure investment in the port of Colombo said DFC CEO Scott Nathan. The consortium will develop CWIT on a build, operate and transfer basis for a period of 35 years. When commissioned, CWIT will be the largest deepest container terminal in Sri Lanka. 
With a key length of 1,400 meters and an alongside depth of 20 meters, it will be equipped to handle ultra-large container vessels with capacities of 24,000 TEUs. The new terminal's annual cargo handling capacity is likely to exceed 3.2 million TEUs. I hope you are familiar with the term too. Well, it is a simple term for the people who are in the business of ports for years. But for all general viewer, let us understand in much simpler ways. A 2, 20-foot equivalent unit, is a measure of volume in units of 20-foot long containers. 2 ratio is calculated by simply dividing the length in feet of the container by 20. For example, a, 20 feet by 8 feet by 8 feet, container will be 1 2. A, 40 feet by 8 feet by 8 feet, container will be 2 2, 48 feet by 8 feet by 8 feet, the container will be 2.42. Teos are the standard unit of measuring the carrier capacity. In previous statement, Karan Adani had said international operations will account for 10-12% of Adani. The Adani Group also plans to set up a renewable energy project in northern Sri Lanka. The Adani Group have put in their proposal for setting up phase 1 of the planned 500 MW wind farm. Then, there are larger plans to export renewable energy from Sri Lanka into India. That entails putting up a cross-country transmission line and connecting it to the Indian grid. The first phase will cost us $750 million. The project will be completed by December 2024, Sri Lanka's Energy Minister Mr. Kanchana Vijaysekara said recently. The economic impact of this investment cannot be overstated. The infusion of $553 million will not only accelerate the completion of the project but also stimulate the local economy. This investment is expected to have a ripple effect, positively influencing various sectors and contributing to Sri Lanka's overall economic growth. Conclusion As we wrap up this special report, the US investment in Adani's Sri Lanka port project is undoubtedly a game-changer. Make sure to subscribe to the official channel of Amit Ranjan for more updates on this story and other breaking news. Thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you in the next video.